was the only sport related four that he could really get involved in right away. He's excelled at all the sports that he participated in. Here's Greer. Greer muscles the puck into the net. Greer. Watch out. Here it comes. Freight train. He's great around the net. Great with the puck in close in his feet and stuff. He's got a great scoring touch. Now here comes Greer. Greer for BU. Oh, Pandolfo back at a Greer. Power forward, I guess, is a good way to describe him. Meet Mike Rear, BU's six foot, 240 pound winger, the Cam Neely of Hockey East. He is well known in college hockey circles and has left his mark on many. Mike was introduced to it all at the age of four and by his very first role model. Younger brothers always didn't take after what you know the older brother does. And he used to, you know, follow me around, like you said, and hang out with us, and uh, when we moved out here, my parents thought it'd be, you know, a good idea for me to learn how to skate, because a couple of my friends did it, so I was like, I want to learn, so, you know, I started playing, and then I got Michael out there, and after that, you know, running around to all our games, he would be at my games, I would be at his games, and it was just kind of, he was, you know, big brother was playing it, so I think I'll try it, because he's doing it. Once Mike could skate, he started playing youth hockey. In his first of two seasons as a defenseman with the Holliston Mites, he scored 113 goals and 104 assists in 52 games, a sign of things to come. I think his first year, maybe his second year there, we had a kid who scored 100 goals. And Michael set the goal the next year that he was going to score over 100. So, um, you know, he, he's been competitive and he set goals and he's improved at every level. Probably around 10, 10 or 11, I think, I realized I was, I was really talented at it, and I had a lot of fun playing. It was, I had more fun playing hockey than pretty much anything else I did. So then I started to figure that to become a pretty big part of my life. The challenge to him came about, uh, I think even on ice, when there were some people who told him that uh, maybe he was too big and he was too slow. And I think that all it did was... Um, was make him a little bit more competitive to prove that he could do it. Mike continued his hockey crusade at St. Sebastian's, where in his junior and senior years, they won the independent school league title. The next step was the college ranks. I was thinking about Lowell and Providence and Maine a little bit, but pretty much it was, came down to Providence and BU, but then sat down with my parents and we talked about all the issues and the would, would be the best place for me and uh, Coach Park is a great coach I know and they always have a real competitive team. They always seem to be in the NCAA tournament year after year. And the beam part was not a big factor for me too. I've always wanted to play in that. We, we were leaning that way but we left the decision up to him and when we went down for the interview with, uh, with Coach Parker and uh, uh, Blaze McDonald, we finally found out that uh, BU was a place he wanted to go all along so we were uh, we were pleased. Mike made the team as a walk-on last year, but wasn't satisfied with his performance and worked hard over the summer to get in shape. He's worked hard around the ice. I mean, there was a time for a long period that Mike was always the biggest, strongest guy out there by far. Uh, he could just hang on to the puck, let people bounce off him, and go get 200 goals playing Pee Wee hockey. But uh, I think he, it dawned on him that if I move my legs, I actually can skate fast, and I don't have to rely on my hands on my size only. This year, Mike leads his team in scoring and is part of BU's infamous red line. The red line is usually just out of superstition sake, uh, the first line that goes out to start the game for us. And this year's red line is Chris O'Sullivan uh, on left wing, Steve Thornton at center, and Mike Greer on right wing. They've started most of our games and been together almost from day one. Greer runs into Chris and flattens him. Here's a chance. Thornton scores! Steve Thornton ties the hockey game. If there was one thing that would make us clip, uh, uh, click, I guess it would be the chemistry. It seems like where, you know, he gets about two or three guys on him wherever he goes. He just takes up so much room on the ice. And so he's just got great hands. He can move the puck real well. And with those two on, my, like on the wings, it just seems like there's a lot of room for myself. Because of the attention Mike gives his opponents, it's no surprise a little payback is in order. Gordon will pick it up for BU. Meanwhile, knocked down was Greer, courtesy of Henderson. And he takes another hit from Costa, and that really has rattled his cage. I think people, when they say, hey, we're not going to get intimidated by BU, I think they really 
sometimes we're talking about me and they come out and they really try and take runs at me to, sh to try and show our team that they're not going to back down from it. So, but it helps me a lot. If I get hit really good, I think it uh, gets me into the game. Mike has also received lots of attention off the ice, mainly for his hockey abilities, but also because he is the first U.S.-born African-American to be drafted in the NHL. It wouldn't, wouldn't bother me if they just said, if they just talked about me as a hockey player, but I know, I know and I realize that that's not always going to come up just because I do stand out. At first, when it, you know, really started gaining momentum, I was concerned about how, you know, the coach and the teammates would take it, you know, singling him out. It's well deserved. He just worked, he worked so hard, his body fats went from 24% to 10%. And um, you look at all the, you know, strength charts that we have, like, you know, he's at, he's at the top of the list in all of them. So, um, you know, it's really hard work that's, that, you know, brought him from being a walk-on here to be, you know, a star player. The player, you know, is probably one of the roughest, meanest guys they want to play against in the league. And as a person, he's probably, probably one of the nicest guys you'll meet, you know, kind of quiet and humble and real laid back. My line mates who deserve a lot of credit, Chris O'Sullivan and Steve Thorne, like I said, they don't, they've, given, they've gotten some attention, but they've also, I think they could get a little bit more because they really, really helped me out a lot this year. I realize that I'm having a pretty good year and I've accomplished a lot of my goals. I realize too as well, there's still a lot of things I have to work on, and a lot of things I have to learn as well, not only in, in hockey, but with, with life as well. <laughs>